Here's Bertram. Say hello. Yeah. Thank you. Still a pleasure, David. Uh, uh, I just saw him in the corridor. You know Autographs what? and all that. I I, of course, I gave it to him. Did you? Yes. <laughs> I didn't get to ask him about it. He was the first one to let his temples go gray. Do you remember that movie? He let them go gray? No. Every no, other actor no, touched no, the no. hero. Bette Davis was the first. Bette Davis. Bette Davis. Davis. <laughs> Don, new and unusual? Yes. Here's my case, right? Yes. Tonight I've got something which is not necessarily uh, new for you. New. No. But certainly unusual. Have you noticed a special guest we have in our studio audience? How can you evening? help but notice it? He keeps waving at me all night. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and saying, will I get on camera? Extraordinaire said, from the Nine Network, Sir Eric Pierce. Yeah. <laughs> Loud, loud noises disturb him. <laughs> you right there? I don't believe it. That's the first time I've ever seen him walk on his own. He's okay. <laughs> and this is the latest he's been up in months. Let me this see. How are you? Are you Pierce. okay? Yeah. It's okay, Don. <laughs> we have a trained nurse in the audience. Well, yeah. Congratulations, Don. It was a very lovely interview. With, with Stuart Grant. done a few. Yes, I have. Yes. Sure. Very, very nice to see you again. Thank you. I'm over here. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we gag about Sir Eric and his age. I might mention to you, Sir Eric is magnificent for his age. I saw his driver's <laughs> license recently, and it's number three. <laughs> Do you know something, Eric? You know... <laughs> he knows nothing what about have this. I've got my crutches in there. I've got. <laughs> you know very well in the audience. I have got in this box something which you haven't seen in a long. Now, don't peek oh, in. Don't spoil everything. <laughs> Not many people know that Sir Eric actually served in the First World War. He went from trench to trench saying, God bless you, and you... <laughs> There's a little something for you. Yeah. Where'd you get this? Here is a little something for you. Oh. Now, it's not generally known, but Eric Pierce is a fine violinist, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> I happen to go through the cards here at Channel Line, and over the years you've played many melodies. Would you like to tune up, Eric? No. Okay, thank God for that. Righto, he's not going to tune up. And I saw on your card, with a wonderful arrangement by Hector Crawford, you played once or twice or three times April Showers. Would you like to hear Sir Eric Pierce with April Showers? <laughs> please, please. I sang April Showers, may I say? Well, I tell you what, what about the other arrangement that was done by Hector Crawford? Um, I love you truly. I love you truly, I can do that, yes, I think. <laughs> uh, what notes? Uh, what? How'd it go? Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> that is real. <laughs> Don, let me tell you. Before you came to Melbourne, this was a show. <laughs> also, also on your car. Tell me he tap danced too as well. Yes. Uh, but only until he was 75. <laughs> Remember those years when you were 75? Can you hear me okay, Eric? <laughs> I noticed also on your car a wonderful arrangement by our own Jeff Hales of Lieberstrom. Would you play that for us, please? Yes, certainly. Hmm. Now, just, just by, finish off with a, with a quick rendition of, uh, of Hunt. I didn't know that Liebestrom wrote, oh. I love you truly. <laughs> I think Eric thinks he oh, did, I'm so sorry. we just leave it at that. <laughs> Eric, what about, what about you and I combining our talents? Do you, would you have... Would you... <laughs> no. <laughs> I just, you, you fiddle and I'll go and burn Don. <laughs> What about... Do you want to sing with Yes, what do you want? You, but waltzing with Tilda. Waltzing with Tilda. Well, yes, that's supposed to be a stage whisper, Eric. Waltzing with Tilda. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a great idea. In a Half yes. second. Uh, how's it go? Uh, point to the dog. The love of field and coppice, of green and shaded lanes, of ordered woods and gardens is running in your veins. Strong love of grey blue distance, brown streams and soft dim skies. I know but cannot share it. My love is otherwise. 
I love a sunburn country, a land of sweeping plains, of ragged mountain ranges, of droughts and bloody rain. He's still going. I tell you what, they're going to have a terrible job to get me off. <laughs> I think you're wonderful to come in on our last show and to put up. So a that's all you want. Place. You've got. <laughs> oh, no, they can they do that. I'm very disappointed in you. They are happy we, don't, we don't mean. Happy to. birthday for tomorrow, by the way. Oh, you see how you. <laughs> <doing that? laughs> we have a. We have a we have a young lady here that uh, is a great violinist, and we think she's going to go a long way. Have you ever heard of Peter Lowe? Pete. Oh yes, I think I have. Yes. Yes, yes she's coming on very well. Yes, and she's... <laughs> I think the West one of the best players in the she's, country. She's over there with, she's over there I with Jeff I know, she's Hales. lovely, she's wonderful. And yes. Jeff and she are going to play a duet. Um, Why does Jeff have to be in it? Why can't I? <laughs> well, he's MD. There isn't anyone else played clarinet. No, he's, you want to be it with him? Uh, two, two violins. He's playing 18th century drawing, you know. <laughs> da, 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 da. Remember that one? Maybe we could have that. Maybe we could have you on the next time. May and, I just and you... stay here and, it, and Certainly. And I'll hold you up, Would you like Eric. us to help you? Would you... <laughs> you you're okay. Okay. Where am I going? Oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. over here. There we are. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty oh, Dumpty. <laughs> Say hello to this fine talent, Peter Lowe and Jeff Hales. Here you are.